can I make a video on how to use Anki for the MCAT? Absolutely. Anki can be really confusing at first. Like, what are all these settings? What is this weird programming language? But if you use it right, it can become one of your most powerful study tools. I'm gonna show you how to use Anki for the MCAT. First question, what is Anki? Anki is a flashcard program that utilizes spaced repetition. That means that the intervals between the times that you see a card increases gradually. The purpose of Anki is to help you memorize content and familiarize you with the language of medicine. It's important that you learn how to use it right now because you're gonna need it for med school anyways. In this video, I'm gonna talk about when to use Anki, how to set it up, the basic controls, and how to make your own decks, which is going to be better for you in the long run. So first off, when to use Anki. The simple answer is use Anki every single day. You really do not want to miss a day because new cards get added on to old cards and the number of reviews that you have to do builds up more and more and more until it becomes pretty overwhelming. So do them every day. You wanna use Anki together with your content review to help you memorize content and also with practice problems like UWorld or your full length exams to help you learn from your mistakes. So how do you set up Anki? This right here is my Anki setup. I'm using the Anking V2 deck. You can download that in the description of this video. And when you open it up, your screen might look a little different from mine. The reason for that is the settings. So the first thing we wanna do is go into our settings here, click on this cogwheel options, and just change your settings to mine. 100 new cards a day, 9999 on the reviews, cause you don't want to set a limit on your reviews. Um, I use the default learning steps, which is one minute, 10 minute, one, four. That means that if you get a card wrong, then it'll show up again in one minute. If you get it right, it'll show up in 10 minutes. You get it right again, it'll show up the next day in one day. You get it right again, it'll show up in four days, and so on. And I use sequential as my insertion order because we're going to be learning the content in order. So those are my settings. What these settings do is you see here, we have 100 new cards in behavioral. That's 100 new cards to get through today. And then when you finish them, they're gonna become review cards tomorrow. So you're gonna have 100 cards tomorrow to review plus 100 new cards. So the number of reviews stacks up day after day after day like this. Now, if you're using the Onking deck like I am, what you're gonna wanna do here is actually suspend all your cards and then unsuspend them as you work through the Kaplan books. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to browse and browse is gonna show you basically all the cards in the deck here. And you're gonna go to, on the left here, you see Onking MCAT, click that, control A, control J, and that will suspend the entire deck. So if we go back to our other screen here, you'll see that we have no new cards. And that's what we want at first. As you go chapter by chapter through the Kaplan books, you can choose which topics you want to unsuspend. And the way we do that is go back to the browse menu um, and we go down here to tags. You see here on the left side. And let's say, let's say we wanna go to biochemistry, okay? And we wanna unsuspend all the cards from chapter one, that's amino acids. Well, you see, if they're in yellow, they're suspended. I've clicked on chapter one on the left here, and I do the same thing again. I control A, control J, and it will unsuspend all the chapter one flashcards. Now, if I go back to our main screen, we look at biochemistry. Look, I've got 100 new cards due today. Now let's go through all the basic controls. Let's click on biochemistry here. Let's study now to get started. So uh, we know what this amino acid is. It is glycine. So we're gonna press the space bar to see the answer. We did it. And now we see here on the bottom, we have four options. So again, hard, good, and easy. These four options determine how long it is until you see that card again. So you can see that right here. If I got it wrong, I can hit again and I'll see it again in a minute. If I got it right, I can hit good and I'll see it again in 10 minutes. These four options can also be triggered by your number keys, one, two, three, and four. 
respectively, your space bar can trigger the good option. So if you're doing well, you're feeling great, you can just keep hitting that space bar as you make your way through your flashcards. Now, one important additional control is to suspend a card while you're on the screen. The way you suspend a card on this screen is by hitting Shift 2. So let's say I've seen this card so many times. I know what glycine is. Um, I don't ever need to see this card again. Shift 2, suspend it, it's gone. Now the average pace that I usually like to hit is 200 cards every 30 minutes. And when you have a ton of reviews, it can take you two, three hours to get through all your Anki for the day. And that is how you use Anki for the MCAT. But we're not done yet. You got to learn how to make your own Anki decks. Why? Because you learn better and you have better retention. So how do we do that? First thing, let's go back to our main menu by hitting the decks button here. And we're going to want to create a new deck by hitting the add button right here. You see we have your type and your deck at the top. The type that I like to use is close, also known as close deletion. I'll show you how to make cards like this. And we want to make a new deck here. So we'll click on deck and then we'll click add. The name of my deck is going to be missed questions because we're going to use this deck to help us learn from the questions that we got wrong. Now we have a new deck and we want to make cards. So this is what a card that I would make would look like. Let's say I got the question, what is Dynian, the motor transport protein? What does it do? Now that I know the answer, I'll go, okay, bracket, bracket, C1, colon, colon, Dynian, bracket, bracket, transports, another set of brackets, transports towards the nucleus. All right, I'll click the add button down here at the bottom. So let's say I want to make a second card about Kinesin. I'll do Kinesin transports away from the nucleus. And I'll click add to make that a card as well. Now let's check out what these cards look like in our missed questions deck. Our first question, it'll show blank transports towards the nucleus. Okay, we know that's Dynian. Second one, what transports away from the nucleus, Kinesin? Third one, Dynian transports blank the nucleus. We know it's towards the nucleus. Basically, each close that you make, the brackets with the C1 and the colons, those are called closes. Each close that you make makes a new card. So I recommend that you mess around with that a little bit so you understand exactly how the cards work. But every single question that you get wrong on a practice test or in practice problems on UWorld, you're going to want to make a card for it. And over time, you're going to be able to remember all these little details that you didn't know before. If you want an example of how I did my deck, I will put it in the description, but I recommend that you don't actually use it. Just use it as a model for what a, a deck might look like. All right, don't use it. In conclusion, Anki is great. Anki is going to help you memorize a ton of content, but you still have to practice. You're going to have to do practice problems. You're going to have to take full length exams because without those, you're not actually going to learn how to solve problems. And if you don't know how to solve problems, you're not going to do well on the exam. And don't say I didn't warn you. All right. Good luck. Thanks for watching.